the other fairies to see they're safe and sound. Everything's tickety-boo. Don't say boo, Great Aunt Garnet. I'm freaked out already. And with good reason, Master Elf. <laughs> Halloween is a very dangerous time for all small magical folks. So hurry, Great Aunt Garnet. Start your special enchantment. It's the night of the year when all manner of foul beings stalk the earth in great numbers. No. The witches are especially evil. Don't tell me. They're out to catch fairy folk to throw into boiling cauldrons. Dude, glad I'm not a fairy. And they use fried elves for extra crunch. <laughs> and after them come the terrible warlocks who ride... No, no, no. Stop. Great Aunt Garnet, start the enchantment. Quickly, quickly. <clears throat> I call on all the powers of nature in the magical realm of Fairyland. Wait! Roots and Twigs, Sapphira's not here. Tough luck, mate. She's had plenty of warning. I'll have to go get her. I'll be back in a flash. Be quick about it, my love. The witching hours are almost upon us. Sapphira, it's Halloween. Great Aunt Garnet's making a safe haven for us in the fairy ring. Come, quickly. <sighs> Hardly. I was just about to rinse off my beauty mask and take a flower bath. As soon as Ludwig gets back with my white rose petals. You can't stay in your spa. The last thing I'll be doing is spending the night with you faint-hearted fairies and that gibbering elf. It's not safe. <laughs> yes. I'll see you in the morning when all this Halloween silliness is over. Nighty-night. Used to come. So be it. Now, where was I? Uh, powers, uh -huh. Fairyland, check. Oh, yes. On this All Hallows' Eve, summon Mr. Jack O' Lantern Bright to keep each <laughs> one now gathered here safe until the dawn's first night. <laughs> Let's get to it. should be with Mistress to protect her. Should something wicked this way come? Oh, no! Mistress! <laughs> now, no need to worry. The things that go bump in the night cannot reach us here. Are you sure, oh. Great Aunt Garnet? Indeed I am. Fairy magic is powerful. Halloween is also a night for sharing stories. Let me take you back, almost 150 years ago to the day when I first moved into my clock tower. 
You can imagine how excited I was to be opening my very first shop. I spent the month of October stocking the shelves with all manner of rare and magical things. But even though it was warm outside, my lovelies, inside the tower it was terribly, terribly cold. Snow on the floor and icicles hanging from the ceiling. I decided to set a merry blaze in the grate. But much to my surprise, ah! I had lit the fire right in the caretaker Brownie's home. He gave me the keys to the cupboard for the central heating. Soon my tower was as warm as a woolly sock. I gave that brownie a dish of cream, and with a tip of his hat, he was on his way. So you see, my dears, not everything that goes bump in the night is out to harm you. Oh, that's awesome, Great Aunt Garnet. Mistress needs me. She must be frightened to oh. What was that? <sighs> Witches? Ghosts? Skeletons coming to get me? the master elf's turn to tell a tale. Well, okay. One day, I was catching some zeds in the gnarly branches of this old oak tree. I way overslept. When I woke up, the moon was rising. I had, like, totally forgotten it was Halloween. I stayed tight in the tree, got down behind a leaf, and hoped for the best. <laughs> then I heard this super creepy voice. I know you're there. <laughs> Come out, and I'll grind your bones for bread! The warlock! Oh. Companion of the witch. Blew on the tree with his gross breath, and all of the leaves curled up, died, and fell to the ground. And then, ah, I saw his long fingernails reaching for him. I thought I was a goner, that's for sure. But then I heard this creaking, and the branch started to move under my feet. There was this old face in the tree, and its big, gray eyes were like shining at me. <laughs> the spirit of the tree had woken up. Yeah the wise old tree guy saved me. We elves have loved trees since ancient times, and it's always been my duty and pleasure to care for every tree I see. I should have gone inside that jack-o'-lantern. Now pay that no mind, my twinkles. Opal, it's your turn for a story. Go on, Opal. It'll be dawn soon. Okay, then. You know that back home in Rainbow Ridge, it's always dry and dusty. Last year, there was a really rotten drought. No rain had come from yonks. The creeks were all dried up. The flowers had disappeared. I left an offering for a rain sprite, hoping she might come and soak the place. What was in the offering? A bowl of silver fairy dust, some silver coins, and a mirror. Because everyone knows that rain sprites love to admire their reflections. Did it work? It should have. But like you, Jasper, I forgot it was Halloween. And instead of a friendly rain sprite, a really mean thunder sprite showed up instead. She took one look at her terrible stormy face in the mirror and went bonkers! A whirlwind! Rain, thunder, hail, lightning, the works! The rain pelted down all night long. What did you do? Well, I reckon there was only one thing for it. I twirled my lasso and threw it and... I got her! I hauled her down and as soon as she touched the earth, all the fight went out of her. 
She turned into a giant rainbow. The creeks were running full, the flowers sprang up, and it was the best day ever. And I learned, you gotta be extra careful on Halloween because there's every kind of magical villain out there. <laughs> Lantern stands between us and them, we are safe. Ah! Ah! A witch and a warlock! Oh, they're coming! Ah! They're breaking in! Oh, we'll all be thrown into a cauldron! Ah! 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 Huh? Look, it's Dawn's first light! Blathering fool, what are you doing? I was coming to protect you, mistress, and... Protect me? <laughs> I told you, Halloween's just a bunch of silly stories. There's nothing to be frightened of. Crikey, I'm glad that's over. Me too. Oh, I was totally freaked. Thanks so much, Great Aunt Garnet. No, thank you, dear. This has been the best Halloween ever. <laughs> Best ever. Pearly, this place is a mess. Who left this lying about? This. this. Woo! Witch's broom! <laughs> ah! <Who's it? laughs> Mistress! Mistress! Woo! Jasper Ball, please! He goes for the basket! Dude, watch out for the butterfly! You'll get trampled! Trampled? I'm not that small! Oopsie-daisy, sorry! <laughs> Call us when you grow up, kid! <laughs> La la la, do do do. Hi, Jasper. Uh, what's up? Not me, that's for sure. I wish I was bigger. Bigger? But you're above average height for an elf. Huh, hardly. What, what's going on? What's everybody reading? The number one Fairyland bestseller, Puppet Boy and Me, by the Turquoise Fairy. She's coming to the fairy ring tonight for a book signing. <laughs> it's so exciting. I've never heard of her. Her book is a cracker. It's a tell-all memoir of how she turned a wooden puppet into a real boy person. She did, huh? Wait, you mean she, like, turned this little puppet into a big boy person? Yep. Interesting. Uh, can I borrow it? Sure, but you never want to read books about fairies. Well, maybe I've just become a fan of the... Whoever she is. Uh, see you later. <laughs> Hello, Cousin Sapphira. Have you heard? The turquoise fairy's coming. Yes, yes. <laughs> turquoise fairy, my eye. That silly blue hair is 100% fake. Die job. No, it can't be. And so she wrote a book. Big deal. I've written a book, too. Really? That's wonderful. My autobiography. It's called All About Moi. But those dimwits at the Fairy Wand Press don't like it. They say it's not exciting enough. Maybe the Turquoise Fairy could give you some advice on getting published. You may have something there, cousin. Always glad to help. Oh, mistress, getting advice from the Turquoise Fairy is a wunderbar idea. Well, let's see if the blue-haired big shot can help me get my book on the bestseller list. I imagine she'll be happy to help her bestest fairy friend ever. And her bestest friend is... Me, you nincompoop. Once we meet and I dazzle her with my charm, that is. <gasps> Home, Ludwig. <sighs> you are always one step ahead of me, mistress. Oh, the enchantment isn't even in here. Oh, some tell-all memoir, what a rip-off. Gotta be in your bonnet, Jasper? 
I just want to know how she changed the puppet from small to big. It just so happens, Master Elf, that I know exactly how she did it. Oh, Great Aunt Garnet. So was it like um a charm or a potion or what? The puppet to person part was a potion. But the little to big part, why, that was easy. Just a simple incantation and poof. You're pulling my wing. She didn't tell you at all. She most certainly did. I'll bet you've forgotten it. Shish kebab, taxi cab, baffle cab, foo. Said ten times fast while hopping on one foot. <laughs> Thanks, Green Ant Garnet. Gotta go. Remember, that's fairy magic. It's not for elves. Wicked. <laughs> I just want to be a little bit bigger, so I'll repeat it three times instead of ten. That should work. Shish kebab, taxi cab, baffle gab, foo. Shish kebab, taxi cab, baffle gab, foo. Shish kebab, taxi cab, baffle gab, foo. Oh man, didn't work. Ow! Whoa! 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 I like totally did it. Fairy magic is no sweat for this elf. Not exactly the size I was aiming for, but who cares? I'm huge! Yeah! Ooh. Whee! Yeah. I have always wanted to do that! Ah! Hey, dude. How about a little one-on-one? -on -one? <laughs> Child persons! Awesome! I can play with them! I totally forgot! I'm still an elf! I can't let person see me! <laughs> <laughs> Whew! This is brutal, man! How am I gonna stay hidden from persons when I'm a giant? Oh. How indeed! <laughs> <laughs> Pearly, do you ever get the feeling you're being watched? Yes. Ah! A person, and it saw us. Psst, Pearly, it's me, Jasper. Jasper? Jasper? <gasps> Roots and twigs, Jasper. You're humongous. Oh, I just wanted to be as big as the dragonflies, but I messed up the turquoise fairy's spell. How on earth did you find out the turquoise fairy's enchantment? Well, it kind of slipped out. You've got to zap me small again. I can't do it. That kind of magic is way too big for me. Great Aunt Garnet? I wish, my love, but I'm afraid only the turquoise fairy can undo this. Well, that's okay, because she'll be here tonight. But where do I go until then? I mean, persons are going to see me. We'll go to the glass house and you can hide in there. Opal, go and try to find the turquoise fairy. Get her to come as quickly as she can. On my way. Wait. Hey. We'll have to sneak you all the way across the park. Ow! <laughs> but that's I... another thousand pushy thingies for telling lies. <laughs> Person-sized Jasper. Preposterous. La, la, la. Hmm. Ah! A person-sized Jasper. How perfect! Sapphira, are you there? And Pearly's obviously implicated in this outrageous misuse of fairy magic. Simply delicious. Hello? Sapphira, we've had a magic malfunction. Can Jasper hide out in the glass house just until tonight? I'm afraid it won't be safe for you in the glass house. There are persons everywhere. No, Zella. Pearly, Burly. We'll have to find a different hiding place then. Thank you, Sapphira. Come on, Jasper. Ludwig, I will be adding a new, very exciting chapter to my memoir. Giant elf captured by persons, based on the soon-to-be true story. <laughs> 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 You've really got to work on your evil laughter, Ludwig. Jasper, you've got to stay underwater. For how much longer? My fingers are getting wrinkly. Not much longer. The sun's going down. 
Until they lock the front gates of the park, this is the safest place around. Uh oh, person, hide! <laughs> and blossoms! Ooh, where's that music coming from? <laughs> Pearly! The turquoise fairy's on her way! Thank goodness! Come on! Oh! You stay put. We'll bring the turquoise fairy. Back in a flash. Cool. No one can see me in the dark. Ah! Try to hide now, Monster Jasper. Go. Ah! Ah! Dude, give me a break. My persons will hear you. Persons? Ah! 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 Persons. Ah! <laughs> Hey, what? <gasps> Shh. Oh. Phew. Hmm. This is totally my fault. I messed up big time. I'm really, really sorry. Can you make me L-sized again? I can do it, but I'm warning you, you may end up even smaller than you were before. I don't care. Small is good. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Er, ma'am. My pleasure. But don't do it again. Fairy magic is for fairies only, Jasper. Huh. Don't you worry. From now on, I'm sticking to elf magic. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Sapphira. I'm a big, big fan of yours. I've written a book myself, and you're the one who's been telling everybody I dye my hair. Ah, I did no such thing. I'd never say that. <gasps> and you were shining the light on poor Jasper, weren't you? No, no, I, I was shining it on Ludwig. He, he was lost and I was helping him. <gasps> You'd better stop lying, mate. Your nose is going to stretch right across the park. Yes, I shone the light on Jasper. But really, I, I didn't mean anyone any harm. But mistress, um, it gives your face uh, so much character. Poor Sapphira. Oh, don't worry. As soon as she stops telling lies, her nose will shrink back to normal size. <laughs> that could take days, weeks, months. In fact, this could be the best year I ever had. Ah! <laughs>